In this video, I'm going to react to the scariest flips in IndyCar history. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really appreciate it. So I finally get to IndyCar. Ever since I started watching and reacting to NASCAR videos, I've always wanted to react to IndyCar just because it's such a well-regarded race, even though we don't get much um, exposure to it here. My knowledge of it is, is very limited. This is basically what I know about the Indy 500. So basically the Indy 500 is managed by IndyCar LLC, which is an American based uh, governing body. The IndyCar 500 is the centerpiece, I believe. It's an annual race that's held obviously once a year. It's a 500 mile race. So basically that's, that's pretty much all I know of it. I know that Fernando Alonso, who is a uh, Formula One driver. I'm a big Formula One fan. He did the IndyCar 500, uh, the Indy 500, sorry, race. I'm not sure how well he placed. I think he, did he come 15th overall? Let me know in the comments below where he came. But that's my, that's my knowledge of Indy 500. I will get more into it as, uh, as time goes on, just because as my love for, uh, you know, uh, Formula One and driving as a whole, grows you know i really want to get more into nascar indycar uh even some of the monster truck uh videos that i've watched has just convinced me to get over to america and watch watch some monster truck uh, events live but yeah the indycar the indy 500 event just seems really it's a real test of a driver's whole skill set just because 500 miles is a lengthy amount of time to concentrate to you know you've got to be at full awareness of what's around you for a long amount of time i'm not sure how many uh, if there's any breaks or any how many pit stops the drivers are allowed but even if there are plenty of pit stops and little breaks here and there 500 miles is a grueling amount of racing so yeah this i'm sure is going to be an entertaining video let's go this is going to be my reaction to the craziest flips in indycar history dario and danica on the high side so is that, yeah, Danica, she's just... Oh, God! Frankie's upside down! Oh! Oh, oh my Dixon days! Dixon is involved! The wheels touch! Jeez! Weldon Did you is see involved. that car went completely airborne? Flew for at least 10 meters. Jeez, man. Take a look at this and look. watch the wheels. Holy the crap! left rear of the car on top, 27 car, look. and then the car look. on the right look. front... Wheel. Wow, man. Oh, like my God. trying to move gosh. up towards the right just a little bit in his right front wheel. That car was machine. legitimately levitating for air. at least oh, 10 meters. Able to go longer than that was else, crazy. On the radio, this better pay off with us staying out longer Mate, than everyone else. Oh! Smashed wreckage. Crash oh, the my God. Crash on the front straight away. That car is Looks wrecked. Like Connor Daly wrecked. And I believe Joseph Newgarden Goodness gracious me. Wow. Big hit coming into the trial. Let's go back and take a look. So what happened here? So blue is in behind. Oh, it's the, so it's the two green cars. So it was the corner. So I'm guessing the guy in the inside lane went a bit too wide in his lane. Man, that was nuts. Into the wall into the safer barrier it's a good thing Jeez. that was i hope that driver is all right man gosh we got a yellow trouble oh, oh, big now upside. that is a write-off wow. right there yellow flag will come out on that one okay Nine so it's a similar yellow, yellow flag like yellow road. flag just like in formula one the cars are very similar to Formula One cars too, so I imagine IndyCar is probably similar. Let me know, IndyCar. Let me know if I'm right here. Is IndyCar and the Indy 500 more similar to Formula One than NASCAR? It looks like it is. So what happens here? Oh goodness me! If you're the driver in there, you are 
wearing your pants. Jeez. This, the wreckage, man. Just all of the... All of the stuff on the track. That's going to take a while to clean up, man. Oh, my God. He's coming too wide. Oh, God. Down the back oh. Ryan Dyke goes over. Oh. Very, very fine. On top Jeez, he's they riding they on like the car. Need, uh, oh, I think they're both going to be God. right, actually. Just as long as it stays like, already got upside down there, but didn't hit the contact with the wall. Boy, you're always and these cars, you know, head, they, 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 they're, they're very light, but they obviously okay, still but, weigh at least right half Let's a see ton. Here. At least. Coming down the back track, 180 miles an hour. Ooh. So the force required to flip these cars is tremendous. Looks like Ari just. Oh didn't my God! What happens here? So yellow is coming in full and, and fast. Turned up, actually turned oh, he doesn't right. go wide enough. He doesn't go. Okay, and, so he uh, does. Oh! Right there. Oh, right reckless turn. man! Oh man, that gap was nowhere near big enough, dude. Right I think Rice surprised him. Now both of them don't kept it under control. Oh, and this time no. My God. That's Rice upside down on the back stretch. Oh my word. He flipped up, got the car sideways, Woo. it got nose higher in the air. Hey buddy, can you hear it there? Here's what happened. Just at the beginning so, of your screen, you okay. can see that. He got oh his my. left rear touched by the right front of Darren Manning. As soon as the two oh. tires touch all the rubber, then it just connects quickly and sends the car into the air. See, Buddy was just starting on his way down off of the turn, probably did not know that Darren was there. That's where you've got to be. You've got those fresh tires, but not in the middle of the track. You've got to dive down low. You've seen what Briscoe's going to do. These cars are going so this quick. One lap so oh, fast. Oh! Ryan, Ryan Briscoe. Oh! Briscoe oh, God! Briscoe flips and flies. Jesus Christ. Watch this. Just a gap that closed again. Oh, the gap was Karen just so small. Oh, wow. That wind side. resistance. Oh, oh. just dove in. Like a wreckage to the grass. Wreckage. And flip Briscoe. And there goes the nine underneath Hinchcliffe. So Scott Dixon. Dude, this is insane, man. What is the cruising speed of these cars? Oh! Oh no, he's on the green. Oh! Oh! Woo! This is incredible, man. Here's a replay. I had no idea that American car racing was so good. I just, I just don't know why I've not entertained it until now. Like, this is crazy. Oh my God! Straight into the tires. Which then starts all this off. To be honest, at least the tires would absorb a lot of the uh, force and shock there. And there's no safer barrier on that inside portion of the wall, but thank goodness those tires were there. It's going to be close as we look at the battle with uh, Catherine Leg Oil Service. Oh, my God. Oh, Massive accident. Oh my Huge. God. The, the whole front, front of the car is gone. I don't know who that is. Oh, my is. God. Mate, this is insane. The, the whole front of the car. Turn 11. That is a very, very scary place indeed. This is the king. Now she's back. She's already around, and she hits the wall with sure. phenomenal force. The car flies up in the air, catches the fence. Look at the that. The motor breaks the off. The car literally and the tub does like a barrel roll. The, as the gearbox and the rear tires up in the air there. Jeez, as man. That is a, that's a write-off right the, there. Uh, the what's the, the um, there. what's the unit here, price for one of these cars? By Sam Hornis, well, a Formula 1 car, I believe, is about £5 leader. million, pounds or something Kanaan like that. In it's got to be similar, right? Frankini, for Indy oh! Jesus, the car... All kinds of debris, and it's the 33, the back end. That is Ryan Briscoe. Mate, the car... Is the car split in half? Actually, you can see on the very underside... What a ride that was. Remember we had last oh year with Buddy Rice Dude, getting airborne. the car the literally uh, caught fire there. Wheels, and here's the situation. I imagine Let's driver safety underneath. must be crazy high. Oh, jeez. The they both are going for the same piece of real estate. Oh, mate. These guys are real. They, they are really racing. Uh, what's going to happen here? Okay, so he's got... Okay, he might be able to save the car. Yeah, luckily the impact was not huge. So what happened here? So he's, he's coming down. Oh, okay, so he's got... What happened? 
That car is certainly destroyed, but you can see so what happened here. So, the car. oh, collision. The of Ryan Hunter Ray. This so, me it all looks to me like Red is in the pit lane, right? Here in oh, my three, God. Quite a few years ago, and the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent you of You would be fearing for Texas your life if you're in a car that's very, airborne. Very oh, Tony Kanaan, oh my goodness. So similar to Formula One cars in, in terms of their aesthetics. Okay, what's going on here? First turn after they cross the finish line, it is Koski Matsura. So this is after they finished the Frankini. race. What happened, guys? He was trying to get underneath. Oh, oh my oh. gosh, he goes up and over again. Oh. Oh, can you count this Look as at the, lucky look at the hang time. The world? Look at the hang time that, that the like cars get. Plane blowovers. This is insane. My goodness. Right, the hang time the cars get. It's like board. they just stay now, in the air. They're like, they're, they're hovering. Right now. When you start to see the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just checks up. Oh, too close. The oh, turn. man. Up what what were you thinking? Like, why wouldn't you go left? Why wouldn't you go inside? Why were you, oh you were up his ass? Crash. Scott Dixon is in it. As we watch the cars go through here, guys, the car on the very top, okay, yeah. which is Jay Howard. We're going to roll this through now. Well, look at Jay. He's already way off the line. He's off the dark patch of the racetrack, which we call the racing line. He's up in the gray. He's lost control of the car. He's hoping he's not going to hit the wall. He impacts the wall, comes okay. off the wall, just misses the 10 oh, of Tony Kanaan. Unfortunately, Scott Dixon is, is no, the right, right wing there. Is oh, man. And over the front of the car. Oh, now that is just uh, car hits collateral damage. Damage right the there. The safety Wreckage, cell on man. these cars, guys. I can't tell you how strong Jeez. they are. That car just got torn to pieces, man. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is insane. Insanity, man. The amount of hand time. Wow, I just... I cannot believe I'm I'm in shock at what I just witnessed. I, I just because these cars, like one of the commentators said, these cars are made of extremely strong materials. It's going to be high grade steel, you know, like just the the best of the best, carbon fiber, whatever. You know, these guys these cars have been tested to the limits. You know, they, they've been put through wind tunnels. They know how these cars respond and things, but but still the amount how quickly the cars just come apart it's just incredible to me and the fact that i'm sure the drivers you know were relatively unscathed i believe in the majority of those flips amazing testament to the uh, skill and engineering of the uh, technicians involved unbelievable but those flips were terrifying if i was in one of those cars and i go airborne i've lost complete control of the car I'm saying my last words. I'm saying my, I'm saying the Lord's prayer. I'm just <laughs> because, dude, you just you you have not you you've got no control when you're driving a car. You know the fact that you control the speed and the direction. That's what at least gives me the the confidence to be able to drive at you know high speeds. Obviously, relative to civilian driving, these guys are going at like 150, 180 miles an hour. So. To, to go that fast, even when you're in control of the car, you're still scared. But then to lose complete control, to, to be driving, to be cruising at 150, 180 miles an hour, and then you go airborne into the wall, mate. Terrifying. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications. Keep the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they definitely make for better quality videos just because if I know that you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.